Not too long ago here on the channel, we took a look at a flashlight from the folks at Egg Tactical called the A1S. Um, parent company, this is actually named WowTac. Well, Jack over at Black Scout Survival actually got together with them and they've created a Black Scout Survival version of this flashlight. It's got a couple of upgrades that I think are pretty cool. That's what we're gonna take a look at coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian, thanks for joining me. So the folks at WowTac were, were kind enough to send me one of the new Black Scout Survival A1S flashlights so I could show it to you and to sponsor this video. Now you may remember um, a couple of months ago we took a look at the uh, Egg Tactical A1S. I think this is a great light. I really like this one. I've actually a lot of feedback from people that bought these and they really like them. So I'm very confident this is a very good light. Well, actually, WowTac is the company that made Egg Tactical. And so they've, I think they've just abandoned the uh, Egg Tactical name and they've gone straight with their, with their WowTac name. Uh, they have a partnership with Through Night. I'm not sure the exact nature of that partnership. But I know that Through Night has a big hand in the design and manufacture of these flashlights. So, in my opinion, that's a good thing because I think Through Night is well known for their quality and value that they provide. So, you can see a couple of differences between these lights. Right off the bat, the most obvious difference is the color. Uh, you may or may not know that Jack over at Black Scout Survival is a United States Marine Corps veteran, and, it, and basically he. he chose this color kind of to honor the Marine Corps, so which I think is pretty cool. Um, and I think it definitely is pretty, maybe helps it sh give it a little bling factor that's not there maybe with this one. But you'll also notice a very distinct difference in the bezel. This one has a barely crenellated bezel, which is all built into the body. And this one has actually a pretty stinking aggressive bezel that actually is removable and it's, and it's interchangeable with a red filter that comes with this thing also. So anyway, that's just a quick look at the original just to kind of show you the differences. Let's talk about the specs of this thing real quick and then we'll get to doing some of that flashlight stuff. So first of all, this light features a Cree XPL V6 LED with a maximum output of 1150 lumens and from the included rechargeable 18650 battery. And just let me show you that real quick. This is one of the things that can, that, that's kind of sets this flashlight apart from the other ones is kind of unique. It has a micro USB port on the battery. It comes with a micro USB cable, so you just plug it into any wall ward or any whatever you would plug your phone charger into. And you can charge the battery directly right there. It's got a little light on it that tells you when it's charging. You can also charge this battery in any external battery charger, which, which will charge an 18650 battery. And you can also use any 18650 battery in here. So a little bit of versatility. I think that's one of the maybe drawbacks for some people with the with the uh, 18650 style lights is they'd have to have an external charger. Well, this solves that problem for you. Just this one compact package, everything you need to function when, when you buy this. And I weighed this with the battery. It is five ounces or 141 grams. Um, it is 5.35 inches long or 136 millimeters. And it's one inch in diameter or 25.4 millimeters. So the price of this light on Amazon right now is 40 bucks. $10 more than the original, but for that extra $10, I think you get a lot of value. First of all, this version comes with this really aggressive strike bezel. So if you need to use this as a weapon, that right there, that's gonna hurt. It hurts when I just tap my hand with it. So that I think that actually does greatly increase its effectiveness as a backup weapon or an auxiliary weapon or a less lethal weapon. But if you don't need this and you you prefer to, to maybe have something to maintain your night vision or help protect your night vision at night. It comes with a screw-on replaceable red lens cover, and you can see the red in there. And it's definitely will help help um, protect your night vision. So basically, for the extra ten bucks, you get not only this really nice color, but you get this really very functional strike bezel and the red lens that screws on, which I think is, in my opinion. It's worth the 10 bucks. So, let's talk about the uh, light levels on this light. First of all, it's just a, a, a tail button switch and it has, it's shrouded here so you can stand this up, but, but you turn it on by pushing the tail switch. And one thing I've noticed on all the WowTac lights is, uh, once they hit a certain level, if you wait for, for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so, five seconds, then it's gonna, it's gonna start the cycle back at the low. So here's an example. 
Okay, so we're on low, which is 24 lumens, good, and, and that'll burn for six days at that with a fully charged battery. Click it one time, it goes to the next level up, which is 140 lumens, good for 18 hours. You wait a few seconds and click it again, it goes back to low again. So you cycle through from low to medium to high, which is 460 lumens, good for five hours. Click it again, it's gonna go back to low again. And, but you cycle through low, medium, high, turbo, that's gonna be 1150 lumens, Good for about three hours. The lights also got what I think is a really great feature. It has the ability to do an SOS. And basically that's gonna be the cycle through the levels past the high and turbo and it goes to the SOS. And I think this could be really handy with either the red lens or the red lens off. Now, um, it also has a strobe feature. And if, if that bothers you, just, just shut your eyes for a minute because basically to access the strobe feature, it, when it's on in any, in any mode, you just long hold it down and it goes to strobe. And then you can turn it off. Now, the other thing it has is a memory. Whatever the last mode you had it on, when you click it back on, it's gonna go back to that, with the exception of the uh, strobe or the SOS, so, so any of the normal light patterns. I like a memory feature on a flashlight like that, so that if you, get, if you like a certain light level, I, I'm, I'm pretty much on the 140, usually around the house, because it's too much light, it's just really bright. If I need that extra light, then I can use it, but for, for everyday tasks, I'm gonna keep it around the 140, and when I turn it on, it's gonna be on which is pretty cool. I know some people don't care about it. I really think the SOS is a great feature. Uh, it's an international distress symbol. And if you just did happen to be in a situation where you need to signal somebody for help, um, this thing will work for you know at least four hours or so with the SOS going. So I think that's pretty good. So um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've done drop test on all the other lights. I do drop test on most of my lights. I've already drop tested the exact same model just not in this pretty color and the reality is i think that is borderline abuse for an electronic device and bottom line i am not going to dishonor the united states marine corps by banging this light up for no reason whatsoever so i'm not dropping this one i have no concerns that it's going to be as good as the other one they're the same exact flashlight basically we just uh honestly the, the only mechanical difference in the light is they threaded they threaded this bezel area here so you could put these two on there and, but they did make it this really pretty color and i'm not gonna mess it up but i will put a link to the other video right up here in the corner you can see all the abuse testing and hard testing you see how well it did it did just fine so since we're not going to do the abuse testing let me just cut to the nighttime footage and show you how well this lights up the testing facility here at the survival and purpose worldwide headquarters and then we'll wrap this up okay i don't know if you can see now we've got the red lens on the light I want to show you um, kind of a comparison here. So, you know, we're about two feet from this white paper here. We're on the low level, 24 lumens. And so this is with the red lens on. And just want to kind of show you the difference. We'll just go ahead and take the uh, red filter off and bam, you can see it's, it's a tremendous difference in, in just the way the light looks. So we got the white and red. That's the white on 24 lumens. So just to show you, there's the low, 24 lumens. Next level up is 140 lumens with the red on. Goes up to here. You really can see it maybe just a little bit out there, but if you take the, the filter off on the 140 lumens, and bam, all of a sudden, you can see that my grass needs cutting badly. Gotta take my lawnmower to the shop in the morning, but uh, so obviously the, without the red filter on it, it gives you a lot more usable light. You see we're shining out. This is 140 lumens out to the old backdoor studio there. We'll go ahead and put the red back on it and go up to just to see how much of a throw it goes. And we'll just go through the red and then we'll go back to the white light. So, so there's the low at 24 lumens. Go up one more to the 140 lumens. You can see barely kind of filters out there into, into the distance. And you go up to the high, go down to the low, medium to the high. You can see it does, it, it does get out there. It is red and that's at 460 lumens but not really really bright out there and then if you go one more we'll have to go back cycle through again it goes to the 1150 lumens which is um it does throw it out there but it's definitely got a red tint to it and i'll take you out in the distance in a minute and let you see it let's take the red filter off and take a look at the white light at the different levels that's the low at 24 lumens you can see it's really bright out there on the paper and then still going out into the uh, to the yard there, you can see that it goes out. One more time it goes to 140. Does a pretty good job of lighting up the test area here at the worldwide headquarters. We'll cycle back through and go up to the 460 lumens and obviously a much better job there. And then we'll go back through the cycle again. 
the 1150 lumens and it looks to me like the camera's doing a pretty good job of demonstrating it and definitely you can see that my grass needs cutting horribly anyway that is the uh 1150 lumens i'm gonna go out in the distance now and just kind of show you what it looks like from the distance with the different levels and at the uh sos Okay, well, I think based on my, my look at the viewfinder, the camera did a really good job of, hopefully a good job of showing how well this thing does. Just a couple of closing points here, just to wrap this up. One of the things that I really like about this light is this, is this strike bezel. Um, I know that a blinding light in somebody's eyeballs can temporarily disorient them. So if you're in a situation where, where you just need to get away, somebody's trying, trying to jump you or somebody's trying to, to harm you, um, you know, you can disorient them. But, it, but if that's not enough, you can disorient them and you can um, put a little paint on them and maybe help yourself out of a situation. In my opinion, that's the best outcome of using any kind of weapon. It's just getting out of there. Anyway, I think this is probably one of the best strike bezels I have seen on a flashlight. And I, I got to give Jack credit for that because obviously he knows what he's doing as a combatant instructor. I also really like the fact that it comes with this red lens. If you're trying to do something at night with this, um, you may not need all that light. Certainly red has been proven to protect your night vision. So that's, that's just, I think this is a very, very good option. I think Jack did a great job in his modifications and design on this flashlight. My hat's off to him for working with the folks at WildTac to come up with this. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Once again, thanks to the folks at WildTac for sending me this so I can show it to you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday, Saturday, and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out a new one right here. If you're not subscribed, please click right down there and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.